according to scripture, the first sign that a transaction has been complete from heaven to earth is peace. Psalm 85 and verse 8. Please write this and learn the ways of God. The Bible says, I will hear what the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to the saints. I will hear what the Lord will speak. Peace is a language. You must learn how to hear the language of peace. Peace is not just a feeling. You can hear peace. That in the midst of the storm, in the midst of chaos, you approach God full of fear, not knowing what to do. And in the midst of your prayer, all of a sudden, it's like another climate is created in the midst of that pain. You find peace that surpasses all understanding. It is not peace that, is, that can be explained with logic. How come I am at rest seeing that my child is in ICU? Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Your spirit man has picked a signal of a transaction that is happening in the realm of the spirit. Peace is powerful. The same way, physically, everything can be all right. But the moment your peace is missing, is 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 a bell in the realm of the spirit. You don't wait until the physical realm becomes what is finished in the realm of the spirit. The moment, let me tell you this: there are times everything can be all right physically, financially, health wise. But you know that something is wrong with your peace. I can't explain. But I know something is wrong. Why do I look at my second son and I lose my peace immediately? It tells you there is something being fashioned in the realm of the spirit. And God is taking away your peace. Peace is one of the emblems that represent the presence of the kingdom. Many believers are careless. They have ignored the language of peace. Some to their detriment. Are we together? You can be doing a business that physically looks excellent. There is no human reason. There is nothing within the range of failure around it. And yet, this is not fear. There is peace that, that your peace is taken away. Every time your peace goes away, stop there. Right there. I don't care what you are doing. Do not continue. You will be about to recycle pain in your life. Many people do not respect the peace of God. The peace of God can build a garrison around your heart. Are we learning this morning? The first sign is peace. Philippians chapter 4, Apostle Paul is mentoring the church in Philippi. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6. Please give it to us. Philippians 4 from verse 6. It says, be anxious. The word there is not careful. The word there is anxious. He's dealing with anxiety. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything, here it is again, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, let your request be made known. Don't assume God knows it. Let your request, let your asking be made known unto God. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep two things, your heart and your mind. Through Christ Jesus, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, can keep your heart and your mind. The sign of peace. The sign of peace. Peace was such a deep mystery that the nation of Israel used it even in their greetings. When you go to Israel today, they greet you by saying shalom. That means I bring you peace. I am an envoy of peace. Can I tell you this? There are many tragedies in the lives of people today that would not have been if they respected peace. The peace of God. The peace of God. There are times you wake up in the morning and for no reason, you just sense that your peace is taken away. Let me tell you what to do when your peace is taken away. Pray until another word comes from God to give you peace. This is why he gave us the blessings of praying in the spirit. How long do I pray until that spiritual condition changes? You don't pray for five minutes and say, thank you, Lord. Uh -uh. 
Seka barakuski ataba. Manda branduski ata. And the moment you begin to pray, a scripture starts coming. God is speaking. He shall keep them in perfect peace, whose minds are stayed towards him. And you can find rest because his word has come to you. Are we together? You hear that they are retrieving people, they are, they are retrenching people, and it's about to affect you. And while you are crying, wondering what will happen to my children, what will happen to me, you go to pray. And while you begin to pray, peace. Peace. Sometimes it can come in a song. He knows my name. That's what you hear in the place of prayer. May not be a verse. He knows my every thought. And he sees each tear that falls. And he hears me when. Hmm. Sometimes it will be just the line of a song. You don't need the whole song. The message is in one line. One line. And you keep singing that song. How many of you have had seasons where you sang certain songs for one month? No other song can minister to you. Just a line of the song that does not make sense to anyone because there is a message and an anointing upon that line. The assignment is to keep singing it until the day the grace that comes through that song ministers to you. Are we together? In fact, if you learn to walk with God and you understand these signs, God can use both scriptures and songs to introduce seasons. You can know that you are entering a season because he will back that season with a song. It will not make sense to any other person except you. Is the reason why you see instrumentalists and worshipers have to be very sensitive because you must understand how to fetch songs in season because these songs are also tokens of ministration you have to know when to speak and to sing in season just because what you are singing is godly does not mean it will bless all the time it must capture what god is doing and saying per season is the reason why worshipers must pray prayer is not for prayer band people worshipers should even pray more than prayer department people 